Ooh. What's up everybody? How you guys doing? I am out here right now uh, during low tide. It's almost peak low tide. It's about almost an hour away from peak low tide which will be about a 0 .3, 0 .3 feet. Uh, and yeah, all these rocks, as you can see, there's a lot of rocks exposed right now and it's still going out a little bit more. So I have, you know, I have a good amount of time to gather what I need for my catch and cook today. All right, let's get to it. Look at all these mussels. Guess I know where I'm coming next month for some mussels. You know, black turban, black turban snails. Collect some of those guys. Check out this little crab. I think this, usually when they have this weird big claw, they have two, two big claws and then these little guys, they're usually the porcelain crabs. They have two, he, this guy has two antennas. Oh, pretty weird. Put him back. There's a lot of starfish around here. Big ones too. Oh, look at this. This is called an, a nudibray. It's like a, just like a slug, but they come in all different colors and crazy shapes. Really cool stripe pattern, some of them, and really vibrant colors. And, and they're really slimy. And this one's kind of rough. Oh, this is cool. Look at his foot. That's pretty cool. Just put, put him back. You gotta just look under all the rocks. Look at the little crevice. And see what you find. But well, this right here is wakame. Wakame. And you know by, there's a stem that goes down the middle and it has blades going on opposite sides of that spine. And this is very good to eat. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. Limit for seaweed, uh, all species included, is 10 pounds and you have to carry a scale on you to to weigh it to weigh how much you've gathered I know a lot of these seaweeds look alike like actually these two see these two seaweeds this green one and this brownish one um, these are actually the same species of seaweed these this is called iridescent seaweed uh, which I actually called wakame before uh, mistakenly but um, even if you get the ID wrong on these seaweeds, there is no seaweed that's, uh, that's poisonous. So even if you eat it with the wrong ID, you'll be all right. Some good sized limpids on here. There's a lot of limpids around here, but I'm not gonna click any limpids today. I got a lot of seaweed and I got some the turban snails so I'm gonna make let's make a little miso soup all right let's do it got the turban snails just gonna add those in I'm gonna add the wakame in boom look at that look at it turn green right when it hit the water it turned green Pretty nice. All right, this is miso paste right here. I'm just gonna put it in and mix, maybe get like a tablespoon. Try that first. Just gonna mix it right into everything. All right, I think that's pretty good. I brought a nice little bowl. For the miso soup. Boom. Perfect. I 
I got my miso soup with wakame right here and the turban snails right here. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. The wakame is very crunchy. Nice crunchy texture. It's really good. Um, the flavor, not too much to it. Very fresh. Um, not even oceany or briny at all. Just a really fresh taste uh, with a nice texture. And seaweed literally is one of the most healthiest superfood that you can eat in the world. They can absorb toxins in your body. Um, I've even heard of cases people where people eat, go on a seaweed diet um, when they have cancer and it, they've uh, and the seaweed really helps. Turban snail? Mm. Um, I've been really into turban snails lately. They kind of have a texture of a, a small piece of octopus and I would say the flavor is very similar to like a little neck clam. Like a little clam that you would get in a miso soup. And you can just, just sub, I'm just substituting the clams with the turban snails. And yeah, that's really good. Check out that piece. Oh, let's do, let's do it all together. Soup, wakame, and turban snail. Mm. That's good. It's a beautiful day out here. It's not windy at all. I mean, I got this beautiful view. I just love it, you know? So, I mean, it's fun. It's a lot of fun too. And very rewarding if you do this. Cook it yourself, cook everything you catch yourself. It's really rewarding, delicious, sustainable, healthy. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, see you next time. Peace.